just thinking maybe I should have put <laughs> some protective stuff down on my table. I think I'm going to need a new table eventually anyway. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be making my own geometric jasmineite tea light holders. That was about the fifth take I've done of that. And I'm going to be doing this by using a craft kit from Resin 8. Not sponsored at all. Right, so this is it here and it was $28.95. And I just bought it just as it is, but you can add some pigments to it as well. But I'm thinking what I might do is add some of my own pigments, potentially. We'll see, we'll see how we get on. I've also never used Jesmonite before, so I'm hoping that this craft kit is decent and will show us how it works. I do know that Jesmonite is a kind of resin, and I have been tempted to use it before, but for some reason, I just never got around to it, so it should be fun. So looking at the pictures, it looks like you get everything included, what you need to make these little tea light holders. And then this is what they're supposed to look like. Jasmineite's quite a strange one. It's not transparent and it looks almost like concrete, but I think it will be a process that I'm quite familiar with. So it says that this kit is perfect for beginners and those looking to start their journey into making homeware. The Resin 8 Beginner's Geometric Tea Light Holder Kit has everything you need to create your very own sophisticated style. Learn how to mix, sculpt and cast jasmineite, add pigment, marble, layer and apply metallic luster. Experiment, play and make beautiful pieces of usable art. That all sounds just delightful. I'm very excited. Can't wait. So it's only got the one review and that's by Lisa and she said loved making my tea lights. Can't wait to buy my next kit. Great way to start out with resin making so you get to know what to buy and what you need for future projects. And people will find that this kit is expensive, $28.95. It's a lot of money to spend on a craft kit. However, I do know that resin is a really expensive material. So it doesn't come to a shock to us or anything like that. And I think delivery was a few quid as well. So it took it up to about 30 odd quid. But let's open it up and find out what it's like. So this is the little resin craft kit here. And yeah, it looks very to the point. And by the way, if you are new to resin or you just kind of want to have a practice, they've got loads of other kits on their website. Depending on whether this one's good is whether I'll actually recommend the rest of their kits. I have a feeling though it's going to be pretty decent because on their website all they sell is resin based products. So you would think a website like that, they would have pretty decent stuff. Okay, so we've got a little tea light mold here. You get all the mixing utensils. I assume this is your jasmineite. Very strange. I wasn't expecting that. It's actually a powder. One of it's liquid, one of it's powder. Definitely different to like an epoxy or a polyester or anything like that. And they've given me a couple of pigments as well, which is nice. And some tissue paper, which I will keep because I'm a giant hoarder. Okay, so this is the instructions and it does say that if this is your first time using jasmineite, then you are in good hands. Jasmineite is a unique non-toxic acrylic resin and mineral system originally designed as a building material and adopted by the craft industry to make decorative cast homewares. At Resin 8, we sell jasmineite under the name Sculpting Cast for rights reasons and this is how we refer, refer to it in this project and on our site. What, so are they not allowed to call it jasmineite? So they sell jasmineite under the the name Sculpt and Cast for rights reason. Is Jesmonite copyrighted? I don't know. Maybe Jesmonite is like a different brand. I thought Jesmonite was just the core material. Anyway, it's not important, is it? It says that I need additional items, so I'll need a non-porous table cover, an apron, old clothes, a kitchen towel. I don't care about my work surfaces or my clothes. I look like a scruff 24-7. Seven days a week. Doesn't bother us. Okay, so it's given us instructions on three different ways on how to do it. So just a regular marble defect, a defined layer, and a diagonal marble. So I'll, I'll do all three of them, I may as well. I do have to say, this kit comes with absolutely everything. You've got two pi- two picks? <laughs> what is wrong with us? You've got toothpicks, cups, measuring jugs, gloves, stirrers, you've got everything you need, which is great. I really appreciate that. It means I don't have to get off my ass and hunt around in the studio for additional things. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna be making is this marble effect one. So you've got your liquid and your powder, and apparently I need to pour 36 to 38 milliliters of the liquid in. In you go and then add one entire bag of base powder into the liquid, slowly mix the liquid and base powder together until they are fully combined without any lumps. Okie dokie. I'm surprised you mix a full bag of this in, but I'll do as I'm told. 
And it doesn't smell or anything like that. Resin usually has quite a strong smell. I can't really smell anything. Right, apparently once this has been mixed, I've got five minutes before it starts to set. So I have to be quick. It says, don't dilly dally or you will not be able to pour the mixture into the mold. Okay, that's fully mixed. I don't want to dibble dabble or whatever it's called. I need my pigment, quick. I can get a toothpick, put it in the pigment, and then you tap it on the side to get a dabbled effect. I think that does. Repeat until the surface is dabbled with pigment. Don't stir the drips. Okay. Pour the sculpt and cast mixture into the silicone mold, pouring slowly with a little height in. A circular motion will allow the pigment time to mix. Marble reaches the mold. Once full, tap the sides of the mold to release any bubbles and pop these with a cocktail stick. Leave to right. Okay. Pour in at a height. and then tap the sides to get any bubbles out. I have to say, if mine turns out what it looks like when I poured it in, I think mine's gonna look better than what theirs is. I'm that good. So while that one's setting, we'll move on to the next one. This is the defined layers one. I'm basically gonna be mixing two separate lots of the jesmonite. I need 18 mils of this liquid. And in you go. I need to equally split this bag of powder in half. Done our liquid into one side. We need to mix this up again, just like we did before. And then add one drop of pigment and mix that in. And then we just pour it into one of these and that'll fill it like halfway full. Right, and I need to wipe off the excess with a little bit of kitchen roll. And then I need to wait for that to set and then we add another layer on top of that. So I'll have to wait a little while. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this one first because apparently I need to jam that underneath to make it a diagonal, but I need this for this one. I apparently need to dust the edge of this part with some gold, ready for the layer when it goes on next. In fact, a paintbrush will be easier to use. Right, diagonal one, what do I need to do? Right, so I need to place this little glitter tub underneath here. So this next one's a very similar process to the last one we've just done. So I need to split this bag into half and done. And then 18 mils of this liquid. And that goes into one of them. Right, that's mixed up and three drops of pigment one two three and this time we mix the pigment in and then we pour it into this one that's on an angle and we let that set just like that right and for these two apparently I need to wait 15 minutes or 20 minutes until I can add the next layer on top of them so I'm gonna go and have a break I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, let's move on to these next steps. And by the way, it does say not to eat or drink around this stuff, but I'm a professional. Okay, do as I say and not as I do. Okay, so we can take this bit from under there now. Right, so I'm adding liquid to this other half that I separated for this one. And I'm adding three drops of pigment again. One, two, three. And mix it up again and pour you into this one. Perfect. So now we're mixing the liquid into this one. Exactly the same process again. I will say this stuff is definitely not like a typical resin. If I was comparing it to anything, it reminds me more of Plaster of Paris. So it's not something to be kind of scared of or intimidated by or anything like that. It's a very easy material to work with. So far anyway, we'll see what the results are like. And then for this one, we're doing the same technique as we did for the first one and just speckling lots of bits of pigment into here and then pouring it in and then just pour you over the top of this one okay so i just need to let them set now but i've actually got an absolute ton of things to do today so i'm going to leave this for what day is it today I'm going to leave them for a couple of days because I've got stuff to do tomorrow as well. And then I'll meet you back. We can demold them and we'll see what our finished, what are they called? Geometric Jesmonite tea light holders look like. Well, I'm back and I have had my hair cut. Thank you for noticing. And my little tea lights, they're fully set. They're completely rock solid. And let's just hope they turn out good. Let's have a look. Oh, 
Oh, these are looking so good. So this is our marbled one, and it just looks really, really nice. It's definitely marbled. The inside actually looks really cool. I think mine does look better than what theirs does on their website. I'm pretty pleased with that one. The one with the gold luster, I think that looks really nice as well. I did get a bit of the gold off, but I think that was from the mold. Nothing seems to be coming off now. And the grey is really nice on it. Yeah, pretty decent. The only one that hasn't turned out particularly well is the diagonal one. And I don't think I did the speckle thing with the jesmonite particularly well and I think it could have been maybe it's better on a more of an angle I think the angle was just too small but I'm still not mad at it I still think it looks really really nice and just such an interesting material to work with and the finished jesmonite it's very similar to like a cement or a stone or something like that it's very different to a typical resin so what are my overall thoughts on this jesmonite tea light holder kit from resonate I would definitely give it five geometric jesmonite tea light holders out of five I think it's a really great kit for beginners who aren't familiar with resin, who aren't familiar with jesmonite, and it was a really simple process as well. And I am tempted to buy some more jesmonite and create some creations that are just my own, especially incorporating some different colours. I think that would be quite interesting. But let me know what your thoughts are on this Resin 8 craft kit. And if you come across any other creative products or craft kits or anything like that you want to see tested out on the channel, then leave your suggestions in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye! Today I'm going to be making my own geometric jesm- <laughs> This is going to trip us up. <laughs> geometric jesmonite tea light holders. <laughs> Today I'm going to be making my own jesmonite- <laughs> Nope. <laughs> Today I'm going <clears> to- <throat> Geometric jes jesmonite tea light holders. <clears throat> In today's video I'm going to be making my own jesmon- Nope. <laughs> In today's video- <laughs> In today's video I'm going to be making my own geometric jesmonite- <clears throat> Oh, I'm gonna have to put you on silent. Complete with easy... no. And it only has the one... And she says, loved making my tea lights, can't wait to buy my next kit. Great way to start out with resin making... Oh my god, that, that sentence was a mess. Start that one again. So it's only got the one review and that's by Lisa, but she gave it five stars and she said that she loved making her tea lights, can't wait to buy her next kit. Great way to... Why is it every time I read something, I just, my brain just goes <laughs> Great. I'm having a very off day today. Brain's just not working.